Welcome back to Dynamic Steward Daily Video. Have you ever experienced a situation of emergency when you needed an urgent response from someone or from God, but no answer? Psalm 69 tells about an emergency situation that is coupled with an apparent delay in God's intervention. We read in verses 1 and 2, Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the miry depth where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. Water to the neck, sinking, no foothold, engulf. The language used by David clearly illustrates a situation of emergency. There's no time to lose. Immediate intervention is required. Otherwise, there's death. For how long? David will cry, was crying for help. We read in verse 3, I, I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail looking for my God. David demonstrated perseverance and consistency in prayer. He seek God's presence continually. In contrast to David, sometimes I seek God when my situation is desperate or I pray only once. David wrestled with God in prayer. How did David cope with the delay of God after praying consistently? It was not an easy situation for him. He expressed his feelings of despair in verse 17. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I am in trouble. Friends, do not hesitate to share your feelings and emotions to God. The good news is God intervened. He intervenes in the present and the future. In the present, the Lord hears the needy and does not despise the captive people. In the future, for God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. Then people will settle there and possess it. The children of his servants will inherit it and those who love his name will dwell there. David's prayer was not only a positive thinking exercise, but a sure reality. Make your prayers known to God. Cry to Him while you are facing life emergencies. Though you perceive an apparent delay, you, you don't have to fear. He will intervene in the present and the future.